This question is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your WordPress questions or tasks on demand. So here's an example of a Ajax script. And what it does is when you type names in the first name, it'll give you suggestion. So here's the form. Um, this is the first name field, and this is the suggestions field. When when someone types uh, something into the field, in other words, whenever the, the field value changes, then show hint function is called. Show in, the show hint function is present here, and what it does is it checks so that if the field is empty, nothing happens, but if the field is not empty, then it sends a request, an XML H XML HTTP request to the gethint.php. So gethint.php receives the request, which is what is typed inside of the first name field right here. And it's going to compare it with the set of names here to find the ones that are close match that are possible matches. So CIND, for example, would match with Cinderella and Cindy. But if CIND, you, if you add ER to that, then it only matches with Cinderella. And that is what the gethint.php handles. It does the magic over here. So if you were to want to add this bit of code, to your WordPress, what you would need to do is to first copy this HTML code for the form and then navigate to your WordPress website where you can head over to the dashboard and then go to appearance and theme editor. Wait for it to load. So inside of the theme editor, you can head on over to the single post. Or actually, head over to the single page for this demonstration. So inside of the single page uh, PHP file, you can free up some space over here. And here is where you can paste in your HTML code. So you can delete, you can delete the head and HTML tags as well as the head and body tags over here. And after you're done, you can click save. Update file. So after you update the file, you still need the git hint.php, which is responsible for uh, suggesting names. So to do that, navigate to your the back end of your website, head over to login, after logging in, head over to your website, go to the file manager. Inside of file manager, head over to public underscore HTML. And here is where you can add the get hint PHP. So the way you add a get hint.php is you simply create a new file and call it get hint.php. Create file. So you see the file here, edit the file and paste in the contents of this gethint.php. Paste. And now you can simply save it. So you may be wondering at this point, how come we need to paste the gethint.php in this particular location? Well, the reason for that is because over here in the code where it says send a XML HTTP request to um, to get hint.php. It's actually sending it to your website slash get hint.php. So the get hint.php should be located on your website slash get hint.php. And this is exactly where we put the get hint.php. We put it under a public HTML um, slash get hint.php. And the public HTML refers to this bit over here. So that's why we put get hint.php in this particular location. So after you've clicked save changes, now you can navigate to your web page. 
And you'll notice now that the code has been the the Ajax code has been added. So if you type a first name here, the suggestion should pop up. Now, of course, it isn't formatted really nicely, but we can always come back to format that later. So I'll type Cinderella, or just C-I-N, and it suggests Cinderella and Cindy. And if I type more, Cinder, then it gets immediately updated to Cinderella. So that's an example of Ajax. And if you ever wonder what Ajax is, Ajax is essentially just um, you entering information into a field and it automatically suggests. So if you go to google.com and you start typing information about like fruits or something, all these suggestions that instantly pop up, these, this is an example of Ajax at work. So this is the most basic version of Ajax. You can also do more advanced Ajax by searching um, Ajax um, Ajax WordPress, and this will show you how the Ajax specifically works within WordPress. So WordPress has, has its own little way of doing Ajax. So it will require you to use add action and create your own function and put things into, put things, uh, and so the WordPress one, it could be a little bit more complicated and WordPress has some of the Ajax abilities built in. So you won't have to write stuff such as new XML requests. It has libraries that'll handle it for you. But in general, if you want to go up one more level and not even have to worry about writing Ajax at the at the WordPress level, you can simply install plugins in WordPress. So I'll take this bit of code and delete uh, and delete it right now. So yeah. So if so here are examples of some plugins that use Ajax. So for example, if you want a plugin that helps you have like buttons, you can install something like light, like button rating this plugin. So I found that by going to add new and then searching for like button. And then this is the like button. Uh, I click install now. And then after that, click the activate button. So wait for the plugin to activate. It may take a while. So now that the like button has been activated, if you go back to the home page and reload, you'll you should notice that there's a like button here. And this also uses Ajax, which the good part is you don't have to code it yourself. And if you click the like button, it automatically updates without having to reload the entire page. And if you click dislike, again, it, it only updates this portion and it doesn't have to reload the entire page. So that's the benefit of Ajax. Another example of Ajax at work is if you operate something like WooCommerce, which is an e-commerce platform that allows you to sell products on your WordPress site, then you may want to use a uh, a WooCommerce Ajax search form. So this is the WooCommerce site that I quickly created, right? So it's a shop that sells a uh, long sleeve shirt, sleeveless shirt and t-shirt. And there's a plugin over here called Ajax search form. And the way you install it is you go into plugins and you want to search for the Ajax search for WooCommerce. So to find that, you go to add new plugins and search for Ajax search. So this is the plugin that I installed. It's called Ajax search for WooCommerce. 
and I've also I've installed it and activated it. So that's why in plugins, you notice that it says the Ajax search for WooCommerce. So back in WooCommerce, in Ajax search form, there's the option to customize the form. Uh, so there's all these customization options. And over here is the, sh the important part. This is the short code required to use the search form. So I copied this short code and head over to pages. And I went to the new offer page where I pasted this short code or where I'm going to paste the short code. So control V, I paste the short code right here and I can click preview now. So upon previewing, you'll see that here it provides the option, this search form over here, it provides the option to search for products. So if I am to search for sh shirt, you see right now it's loading on the spot and then it shows su suggestions of t-shirt, sleeveless, sleeveless shirt and long sleeve shirt. So this is an example of Ajax because simply by typing something, it only loads the search search fields like it only loads this search portion and it doesn't load the entire page so that's how you would use ajax on wordpress i would suggest installing a plugin rather than coding it yourself yeah so so that's how you use ajax in wordpress